That's pretty amazing. I mean, it makes sense because we're infinite, right? But it's so, like... Uh, so much information. Yeah, and it's great. You know, we, we got to empower ourselves and we have to infuse ourselves with this knowledge because, you know, everything we've been known is a lie. And we literally have to decipher through with what we know now is the truth and in, in, into what what this is you know the saturn moon matrix and uh how it all works you know that joshua really obviously did his homework into some of the shit what mark was saying you know and showing into some certain things you know and that, that's pretty pretty good job man job well done joshua i, I appreciate that man Thanks for the thanks for the info and uh, paying attention and, and applying yourself into it. It really paid off. Thanks, my man. Definitely. <clears throat> what a world. And it's just you know it's it's great understandings you know because. We all need a. We all need something to look into or check out sometimes, and we get shorthanded looking into the Holy Grail and looking. Cause I know the number one biggest mystery in this world is is literally the Garden of Eden, and then the biggest rabbit hole known to man is the black hole sun itself. So it's like when you're trying to dig up research for these kind of things. We're Say that again. Uh, the Aurora Borealis is the rainbow connection. Uh -huh. So we're in the black hole sun right now. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I can I can see that already, yeah. So I we're mean, connected. Yeah. We're connected by the rainbow. So we're inside the cube, outside the cube. Inside the cube, outside the cube. Hmm. And we don't get out of the cube until we die. Yeah, but then you're going to be... Or get birthed out of here. But it's We get birthed out, yeah. I mean, could people be saved if they die, is what you're saying? Is that what you're kind of pointing out? Like, they could save themselves when they die? And, um, so we're stuck inside ourselves. The cube, the cube is sucking us inside of ourselves. The, the cube sucks souls up with Latin magic. So it's called Latin magic. It's sucking up souls into the cube. So we're all stuck inside the cube, but we're outside the cube. Alice is in Wonderland and she's outside of Wonderland, but she followed the white rabbit. And she followed the moon down the rabbit hole. And she went to the Matrix. Mm. She followed the moon? Mm. The false light. The false light, right. So that led mm. her what in... A lot of death, huh? So that, that led her what into her reincarnation? The false light. That's that cold, cold right? I'm the next mother. So we are As in the above. so we are in the black hole sun, and then yes. they're showing, yeah, that the the moon is going to reincarnate your soul. That's what they're telling you, and they're showing you. Because uh, I mean, they show so you, they show you and I tell you and so. everything. I mean, 
Because we're going to go down the no, black hole. Down. Something about going in the moon and you're... you're you somehow are find contrast where... Uh, and you're released back in into this realm, where you eventually you fuse, you, you know, to another, be reincarnated. Your soul will be stuck in another body. I wonder if it's through your uh, through your bloodline. Maybe you think it has a connection to your bloodline. You are you reincarnated to somebody within your like a soul group or something within your bloodline. Or do you think it's random? The Archons are going to get us one. They're, they're going to get you to sign a soul contract. You need to sign a soul contract before you get sent back down here. So if you don't sign the contract, then you win. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. It's simple as that. So where does your soul go? What do you do? Do you just go to the black hole? I mean, do you go to the garden and just wait for us to show up? The garden of Eden. We're in the garden of Eden right now. Yeah. This is the garden of Eden. And we're going to be birthed out. We're going to fly past the black stump. Fly past the cube, fly past the Aurora Borealis, which is the Matrix code. Uh -huh. And then that's the, boys, that's the curtain. Huh. And then we're into the real world, we're into the abyss. Everything's the abyss. But we should be out of the water. This is why a baby has a soft spot on top of its head, like a dolphin. Yep. yep. A baby's got a soft spot on top of its head because it should be underwater. Right. So we're fish out of water. This is why we only live for a hundred years. Hmm. Hey, amphibians. They're just saying like they're, they're like that excerpt I was just watching oh. when you came in the room. They were they were worshiping a fish deity. Dagon. Yeah. We're sp we're supposed to be born underwater. Is that what you're saying? We're water beings. Yeah, that's the. Makes sense, right? The abyss is the ocean. So, the abyss is the ocean? Yeah. Hmm. Is that why we can just go there and drown? Hmm. We'd be toast. <laughs> you know what I mean, though? Yeah, you got it. Exactly. It's like we live in a water world and we pay for water. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> the fuck? Water is the abyss. <laughs> but you know, it's just amazing to hear this shit. Air is still water. Remember, air is still water. It's just a different density. Hmm. There's three dimensions, mm -hmm. land, sea, and air. True. Doesn't go anything else outside of that. What about Helios? Mm -hmm. No. That's a portal. So there's portals? The sun is the portal. Portal, the sun? Yeah, it's a, it's a star. The sun is a star guy. So, does it matter? One side of a light holds a black hole. Right. On loop.
have some pretty amazing information. Yeah, you seem to have a very good understanding of uh, some of these deeper subjects.